Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to this new amazing video tutorial. So today in this tutorial, I will show you that how you can create this exact same modern looking blog website for starting a new blog, for starting your new blogging career. You can see that this blog website is looking really great. I will show you how you can create this step by step by using WordPress, okay? So you can see that this is our beautiful looking uh, blog website we're going to use a completely free WordPress theme called Ashy so you, you can see that it's looking really professional I don't want to talk anymore so let's go and get started uh, I hope that you all know that before creating any website you need two basic things one is a domain name which is the name of your website and the other one is your hosting uh, a, a hosting is something uh, you can call that a space in internet okay so for purchasing your domain name and hosting I have provided a link in the video description below if you click there you will be redirected to this page this is the page uh, uh, this website name is uh, TMD hosting it's a really great domain and hosting provider okay so you can purchase domain name and hosting from here you can see that they have several types of hosting with several types of pricing I have uh, already created a video that how you can purchase domain name and hosting so uh, I will give that link also in the video description below so don't worry so I have already purchased domain name and hosting you can see that this is my domain name this is the name of my website WordPress freebies dot online okay and uh, after purchasing your domain name you will also get something like this your domain name okay and then you will also get some login credentials with your wordpress website oh uh, sorry with your uh, for logging into your uh, website cpanel you can call that also control panel so for uh, logging into your cpanel what you will have to do simply you have to first check your email inbox which you will be used for uh, purchasing your domain name from TMD hosting and after that you will uh, get that email uh, in that email you will get a username and a password for logging into your WordPress uh, sorry uh, hosting account so first of all what you will have to do you have to simply type your domain name and after that give a forward slash and then type your cPanel okay and press enter and after after that this is going to redirect you here this beautiful page and here you will have to give your username and your password and after that click on login and this will take you to a new page so I'm just simply entering my uh, username cpanel username and then uh, you can see that this is my username and let's uh, enter our password so simply enter your password and then click on login okay so you can see that it's uh, telling us it's redirecting us here okay this is your cpanel from here you'll uh, you will start creating your wordpress blog okay and after logging into here you can simply search from here called uh, soft coolers type here soft and then you will get these options and after that click here soft coolers apps installer and from here and from here simply click on wordpress okay here and after that this is going to take you here and from here click on install now and from here we are going to install WordPress okay so you can see that uh, under the software setup options here it's telling us to choose the WordPress version by default it selected the latest version and uh, you must should keep it default okay so keep this default and after that uh, you have to select your uh, website protocol and your domain name if you have multiple domain name under one hosting account you can see that I have multiple domain name uh, that's why I have lots of options to choose but if you have only one domain name then you will have only one domain name okay and uh, you can ask me that what is actually this protocol is is uh, this protocol is uh, actually the by default uh, you can see that for um, me it's selected HTTPS and uh, you should also check this uh, as HTTPS don't choose it uh, HTTP because uh, TMD hosting providers uh, uh, SSL certificates I mean this HTTPS one uh, for free and what does this HTTPS does is uh, it's it's encrypt all the data in your database 
in a different format so that the hacker will not understand any uh, information of your website okay and after that uh, under here you can give your site name and your site description you can also change this uh, letter so I'm not uh, doing this from here and after that uh, you have to give a username and a password and you must give this to think really hard don't give easy username and easy password always give a hard uh, username and hard password and from here uh, you can generate a random password if I click this key icon from here you can see that it's generating password so I'm just simply uh, typing here password so I'm simply clicking on hide and from here I'm just typing my password okay and give a username here I'm just typing here username is equals to username but don't give username is equals to username okay and from here enter your email address and this email address is um, going to use for receiving any email from your WordPress website okay so give your a valid email address and from uh, here uh, uncheck this if you are not getting this option checked then uh, keep it default but for me it's uh, you can see that it's checked so I'm just simply unchecking this okay and then scroll down more and from here click on install okay and this is going to take uh, up to three to four minutes you can say that it says three to four minutes but uh, maybe this is going to take only 20 seconds you can see that it's uh, already installed and it's showing us a uh, success message and from here you can see your WordPress website so simply open your domain name and from here you can open your administration URL okay so I'm just simply visiting my website you can see that this is our website we have to make this website something like this okay so you can uh, see that it's reloading it's taking a few second time I'm just simply dragging this tab at left and this is our WordPress dashboard your domain name slash WP admin okay uh, and this is our front end so you can see that that's how it's looking right now so first of all what we are going to do we are going to change some settings of our WordPress website from our dashboard okay so first of all I'll simply click on post and from post delete the default post I'm just cleaning it okay don't keep the default thing because um, that's a really dump so simply I'm just deleting this for deleting this uh, post from here simply click here and from uh, bulk action click on move to trash and after that click on apply okay and after that let's go to page simply click on page and from page let's delete this to page so select here and this is going to select both of us at the same time and after that from here click on move to trash and click on apply okay this is also going to delete the pages and uh, if you want to delete this permanently then again click on trash and from trash select this and from this drop down select delete permanently and after that click on apply okay and after that friends click on plugins and let's delete these two different plugins okay so select this okay and this is going to select uh, this two plugin at the same time and from bulk action simply delete this and then click on apply and then click on ok okay and you can see that uh, this two different plugin successfully deleted and from users if I click on users you'll be able to see all the user from here okay you can see that uh, it's me and if you want to edit your profile just then simply click on profile from here and from here you can uh, change your email address you can change your login password etc etc a lot of things you can uh, explore here you can see that you, here's a lots of options if you want to change the admin color scheme uh, then you can choose from here you can see that here is a lots of different uh, theme if I click on coffee it is going to change the whole dashboard color and if I click on midnight you can see that this is looking really good and I'm just keeping this default and if I scroll down more and uh, you can give your first name list name okay etc etc I'm not giving this 
and uh, you can also give your biographical information okay and if you want to generate a new password then simply click here generate password okay and after that you, you will have to simply click on update profile but I'm not doing that right now so for that I'm just simply click on, on cancel and then simply click on update profile don't forget to um, click on update profile because th this is really essential if you don't uh, click on update profile then you're going to lost all the changes that you have made in your website okay so simply click on update profile uh, this is can take a few seconds depending on your internet connection and after that click on settings and from here you can change your site name and your site tagline okay so you can see that under general settings we have site title and from here you can give your site name suppose I'm giving here uh, our our fashion fa f a s h i o and fashion blog and let's give a tagline right here suppose best trending theory and doing fashion magazine or uh, blog in tips you can give your own tagline okay and after that scroll down below and click and save changes okay you'll get uh, a lot of different settings options from here okay you you have general options you have writing options you have reading options and a lot more but we are not going through all of this okay and after that what we're going to do is uh, installing a new thing so for installing a new theme, simply click on appearance okay from appearance we will click on add new okay add new and from here we're going to install a new free theme called ashe ashe is a really great theme for creating a blog website okay so after clicking on add new you'll uh, come here okay you can see that here's a lots of different theme you know, here is lots of different WordPress free theme we're going to use Ashe and for uh, finding that theme you have to simply search that so click on search themes here and type here A S H E Ashe okay you can see that it's searching you can see that uh, right now uh, here is the Ashe theme and uh, first of all you have to install that so for doing that simply click on install okay you can see that it's uh, installing and after that click on activate and then this will be activated and after that we will have to install uh, the essential plugins and then we will import the demo okay and after that we will uh, see that how we can change all the options and customize all the images logos how you can create new menus etc etc you can see that uh, it's telling us uh, begin installing plugin for doing uh, for installing plugin simply click here begin installing plugin okay and after that we'll install that plugin and from here uh, simply select the plugin check this box and from bulk action click on install and after that click on apply and this is going to install the elementary plugin okay uh, you know, this plugin have successfully installed and simply click on uh, return to required plugins installer okay and after that simply activate this for the click here and from bulk action click on install and after that click on apply okay you can see that uh, we have successfully activated that and again I'm clicking here themes okay and from here I'm just clicking uh, here this get started with Ashe button so simply click here okay and this is going to redirect us to a new page and after that uh, you can see that it takes us here okay and from here we can uh, see that here's a lots of different settings so here is a lot of different pre-made demos which is available in the pre uh, pro version of this theme the Azure Pro theme 
but we're going to just install the free version okay so for importing the demo content simply click on install demo import plugin okay and you can see that it's installing you know, this can take a few second time and after that this is uh, going to redirect us to a new page uh, and from here uh, check all this this is the plugins list and from here check all this you can see that by default it's uh, checked so I'm just keeping this default and after that simply click here import demo content okay and it's telling us please wait so please wait for a few minutes and after that you can see that uh, it says uh, please visit uh, the Ashley website so simply uh, you can uh, visit your uh, website by clicking here check out your new website I'm just simply clicking here okay and let's see that what we have made you can see that uh, this is the website we have successfully uh, created so let's see now how we can edit all this how we can change the images how we can uh, edit the navigation menu etc etc here's a lot of options in this thing okay you can change a lot of things you can customize this uh, theme really easily so I'm just uh, going back to my WordPress dashboard simply I'm just uh, clicking here and first of all I want to show you that how you can actually create a, uh, create a new post because for blogging creating a new post is really really essential so I just wanted to show you that how you can create a new post in WordPress okay so you can see that I have uh, clicked here so friends uh, you can see that uh, this is the dashboard and you can uh, see all the statistics of your whole website at a glance from here okay from this page you can see that uh, from here we are getting the link for creating a new blog post uh, and we can also set up a new about us page or we can also set up the home page and we can visit the site and we can also uh, perform more actions we can see that uh, how many widgets we have we can also manage widgets we can manage menus we can turn off comments etc etc a lot of things we also have some of the plugins information we can also save posts to the draft etc etc a lot of things so uh, we're going to show you that how you can actually add a new post so for adding a new post you can simply click here uh, you can see that we have a link here uh, write your first blog post you can click here or from the right hand side you can hover over here post okay uh, sorry guys it's not at the right side it's in the left hand side so simply hover over here and after that simply click, uh, click on add new okay and from here we are going to uh, add a new post it's really easy just simply click here and after that uh, you can see that it's telling us welcome to the block editor so I'm just simply closing this for doing that simply click here close dialog okay I'm closing this dialog box and from here uh, let's uh, click here this gear icon from uh, here simply uh, not only uh, he here simply click uh, here more tools and options and from here you will get these options just simply uncheck this full screen mode okay and you can see that right now it's looking like this okay and after that uh, let's add a new post for adding new post you must should have a post title so I'm just adding a new title so let's give a new title uh, I'm just uh, typing here a title TITL title number one okay you can enter any types of title according to your um, blog post content okay uh, blog post topic and then enter some text here so I'm just simply going to alarm Ipsum well uh, Ipsum and I want to copy some dummy text okay so simply copy some dummy text from here so copy this and then simply I'm just pasting it here okay you can see that we have we have uh, entered some dummy text you you can easily add your uh, article here 
I don't have any article right now. I'm just showing you this for tutorial purpose, okay? And after that, uh, I'm just uh, pressing enter, and you can see that we have uh, we can add a new block here. So suppose I want to add a new image here. For adding a new image, simply click here this uh, plus icon, and after that, search here for uh, image, image, and simply click this block okay and then you get an option uh, for adding a new image simply click on upload okay and then uh, let's add this image you can see that you can add any image that you want and after that click on open and you can see that uh, you can resize the image you can do a lot of things you can change the alignments you can uh, move it up move it down etc etc okay and at the right side you can uh, make it rounded from right side okay and you can see that this will look like this if you make it rounded this is going to look like this and uh, if you make it keep it default then this is going to look like this okay and you can also add a caption I'm not add adding that and if you want to add a new gallery block here simply again click here at a block yeah, here's a lots of different types of uh, blocks you can uh, add so uh, if you want to add a gallery simply cl uh, click on add block and from here you'll get these options gallery and if you don't get this option simply search here for gallery okay and after that simply click here and from here uh, click on upload you can add new images okay well, let's add these two images and then click on open okay and after that you can edit the gallery default uh, styles from here you can change uh, the columns number etc etc a lot of thing a lot of thing okay I'm just keeping this default and if you want to add a new heading simply um, click here add a new block and simply type here h1 okay so h1 search oh sorry not h1 you can see that heading h e uh, heading okay this one heading and after that type your heading well, suppose um, top 10 tips for women you can add here heading or subheading and you can also style this if you want to change the color of this uh, text simply uh, select this or if you want to make it bold simply select this and simply uh, click on uh, bold okay and if you want to make this italic then simply click here and this is going to be italic you can see that and if you want to add a new link here um, simply select the text that you want to uh, add a link okay and after that simply click on this and enter your URL suppose I want to add a URL of google.com and then type here https clone slash slash google.com okay and simply enter this we can see that the link have successfully inserted so uh, this way you can add content to your uh, WordPress blog post okay and let's see that how we can add a uh, category and tags to your uh, WordPress post and also how you can add featured image okay our uh, featured image is actually the thumbnail image of your blog post so simply uh, click document from the right hand side okay and from here click on categories for adding a new category so you can see that we have some default categories that comes with this theme and if you want to add a new category simply click on add new category and from here simply add a new category uh, suppose I want uh, a new category called backs okay and then click uh, press enter you can see that we have successfully entered uh, no, the new category I mean we have successfully created the new category and if I want to uh, add more category then again type here the name of the category simply type here the name suppose the category name will be fish okay I'm just using this for um, example purposes just for showing you all okay so simply click on add new category you can see that we have selected this too and if you want to select uh, any uh, previous uh, created uh, category from this list simply uh, check this box okay which you know you want to use 
that's how easy it is to create a new categories and if you want to add a tax for adding a tax simply click here and from here to uh, add tax then uh, add some tax suppose this post is related with Google and fish fashion etc etc a lot of things and if you want to add a new featured image simply click on featured image okay and simply click on set featured image and from here you will get the options for adding a uh, featured image from your uh, media upload or media library and also from your upload files you know, from upload files you can add uh, custom images from your device I mean your laptop Mac or PC okay but I don't want to upload any uh, images from my uh, laptop I want to add images uh, from my media library the images that I'm already using in my website I just wanted to add this okay this is my featured image and then click on set featured image okay you can see that uh, we have successfully inserted this also and at last let's go and publish this so for publishing this post you can simply click here uh, this button publish button at the top right corner of this uh, screen okay so simply click on publish and then again click and publish you can also edit the visibility from here if you want to make it uh, private then you can simply uh, click here this drop down and after that from uh, there you can select the private option okay but I'm just simply publishing this okay so you can see that it's publishing I'm again uh, clicking on publish okay before clicking publish you can uh, change the status I have said uh, already said previously okay you can make it private but I don't want to make it private uh, you can also make this uh, password protected the user will have to enter the password uh, for uh, reading this blog post okay so I'm just simply clicking on, on publish you can see that it's publishing and from here you can easily view the uh, blog post you can uh, see here the link of your website okay you can see that this is the uh, uh, post link not your website link this is the post link you can simply click uh, view post and this is going to uh, view the post or you can copy the link and open a new tab and paste the URL but before viewing the post, I just want to change the structure of permalink. I want to make the permalink structure SEO friendly, okay? Which will be more readable for uh, search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, etc., etc. So simply, I'm just uh, uh, hover on, hover over on settings, and from here, click on permalinks. I'm just opening this link in a new tab, okay? I ju I'm just dragging it at the left of my window, okay? And from here, uh, simply select this. By default, it's selected uh, day and name. I just want to uh, select this as post name, okay? And from here, simply click on Save Changes, okay? And after that, let's reload this again, okay, my friends? And let's view the post right now so you can see that it's loading. So, our uh, friend, simply I want to uh, click here, preview, okay? Uh, preview in a new tab. So, you can preview the whole blog post. You can see that this is our uh, blog post title. I have just entered a dummy title here, okay? And if I scroll down more, you can see that the images, the gallery images, the uh, subtitle with the link if I click here this is going to take us to google.com so I'm just simply clicking here okay you can see that it takes us to google.com but I don't want to stay here I'm just going back okay and uh, uh, if I scroll down more you can see that we have a uh, um, we have the tags here okay and we also have the categories here you can see that at the top uh, okay the meta information we also have the uh, have the uh, published date okay December 2 2020 and if I scroll down more you can see that we also have a, a comment option where the user can easily comment okay leave a comment uh, about their feelings <laughs> after reading this blog post okay and uh, friends 
let's visit the home page of our website so I'm just simply removing this and simply entering my website address and you can see that this is our uh, whole website looks like you can see that it's uh, taking a few seconds so you can see that uh, right now uh, this is my whole website so let's see that how we can customize uh, the options first of all I want to show you that how you can uh, change the navigation menu here okay so for changing the navigation menu simply go back to your dashboard and from here hover over on appearance and from here click on menus okay I'm just simply uh, close this tab uh, I don't want all this tab okay simply uh, close this and here in the dashboard you can see the menu here okay the started page and here is the started page and here are the drop down options so first of all let's clean all the steps okay so simply clean off uh, for removing all these options here all these available items here simply click here okay this icon small icon and then simply click on remove and then again click here and then click on remove click here and then remove click here and then remove okay click here and then remove I'm just simply uh, uh, pause the video and uh, remove all the items and I will go I will come back after removing all these items okay you can see that or right now I have uh, successfully removed all the items from our menu so let's add uh, our own items in this menu okay so simply from the left hand side under add menu items click on uh, view all under pages okay and from here add home blog and whatever you want I just want this to okay I don't want too much options here and if you want to add any blog post title in your menu then you can select the blog post title from here and if you want any uh, custom links in your uh, menu then you can add your custom link here and the uh, custom link label here okay or you can also say link text okay so that's how easy it is so I'm just simply uh, clicking on pages and from here I'm just selecting this one home and block and after that simply clicking here um, add to menu okay and you can see that I've successfully added uh, this to item here and after that click and save menu okay and then simply reload this you can see that we have successfully edited the uh, navigation menu here okay so you can see that here's a lot of different options so uh, let's see that how we can add the contact page here so for adding the contact pa uh, page right here you can simply uh, uh, click here we all we have already imported a uh, contact page with the demo but if you want to add a new uh, contact page for that simply clicking on contact at first we are going to create a new contact form and let's delete uh, let's not delete this simply clicking on add new okay or uh, simply I'm just going back I'm not going to add any new contact from right now simply click this one okay this short code from right here and let's click on pay, uh, hover on pages and from here click on add new and from here let's add a new contact as page so I'm just uh, giving a new contact as page name contact us a blog okay and then paste the short code that we have copied from okay and after that click and publish and then click on publish we have successfully created this and from appearance again go to menus okay and from here let's add this item to our menu so simply select this and after that click on add to menu and after that save menu and then reload this and then you can see that we have successfully add this uh, item here if I click this uh, link this is going to take us to the contact us block page okay you can see that we are already here contact us block page this is our contact us page okay so let's see that how we can uh, change this uh, header image and how we can hide this topper I don't want uh, this topper okay so simply for uh, doing this click on customize okay and after that uh, this is uh, going to load the theme customizer option 
and from here you'll get a lot of different options okay there's there are tons of different options now uh, if I click on skins you can change the default theme color you can see that by default it's selected default but if I select dirk then our website is going to be totally dirk you can see that it looks like this right now but I don't want this to be dirk so simply I'm just uh, keep it default and I'm going back and I don't want this topper so for uh, removing this topper I have to click here on topper but if I want to edit this simply click on this pencil icon okay and uh, if I want to add a menu in the topper then I can select that menu but I don't want this so simply I'm just going back and then from topper uh, uncheck this okay you can uh, you will see that the, the topper gone okay I don't want the topper and after that if you want to change the header image simply click on header image okay and from here uh, you uh, you can uh, upload a new image for adding a new image simply click on add new image okay from here and then you can add uh, whatever images you want if we want this image or uh, suppose I want this image then simply select here okay you can upload from your uh, desktop or your laptop for doing that simply uh, click on upload files I hope that uh, you will understand this so I'm not showing this so I'm just uploading this from media library and then click on select okay selector uh, and crop you can see that it's taking a uh, few second time because uh, the image size may be so bigger that's why this can take a few second time you can see that uh, it's telling us to crop the image but I don't want to crop I'm just simply cl uh, clicking on skip cropping okay and after that you'll be able to see this okay that's how easy it is and uh, if I simply uh, go back from here you can see that we ha also have a lot of different other options we have the slider etc etc you can uh, play around all these options and if I want to hide this options also as like as the topper <laughs> okay then simply click on header image and click on here and this is going to disable the topper okay uh, sorry the header image so I don't want to hide that so simply I'm just clicking on uh, page header okay I want to keep the page header you can see that it's back again so I'm just again uh, going back and don't forget to hit the publish okay so I'm just simply publishing this so that's how easy it is to create this beautiful looking blog you can see that we have successfully created the blog if I click on home page you'll be able to see that we have all the things working and if I scroll down you can see that we have a lot of options we also have uh, some widgets here you can see that so let's say that how we can uh, add our footer widgets so for uh, adding or editing your footer widget simply go back to your dashboard and from appearance uh, you will uh, get these options called widgets simply click on widgets okay and from here simply click on footer widgets and from here you can see that we have three different widgets if you want to uh, change this uh, three widgets you can see that we have recent posts we have categories we have banner ads and, and if I go to my dashboard you can see that we have recent post we have uh, then we have categories maybe have, yeah we have uh, categories and after that we have banner ads so if you want to uh, uh, did this suppose I want to add the title from here so simply I uh, just want to uh, add here at sense ad suppose at sense a d s e n at sense ads and from here if I want to change the image simply click uh, the image and then remove this you can remove this and upload your own image and after that simply click on add media okay and then uh, simply add this insert into post and then save okay and after that reload this I hope that this will uh, change the image you, you can see that uh, it changed so uh, that's how easy it is and if you want to uh, change the categories from here uh, that is also so easy you can see that uh, here is the category options so you can uh, remove this you can uh, delete this okay so that's how easy it is to create the whole uh, blog website it's just uh, super super easy so 
I hope that uh, you have already published your uh, blog website for uh, your for affiliate marketing or you can also use uh, this one for uh, publishing new articles you know your opinion and a lot more so that's all for today see you in the next video and if you uh, face any problem then you can comment down below and you can visit our forum and you can also uh, hire us for uh, creating your own blog at a really reasonable price okay and uh, Please, please, please like this video and please sh share this video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel for all the upcoming videos. Okay, so goodbye everyone. See you in the next tutorial.